What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Austin Sierra. Make sure you leave a like, definitely subscribe. And if you can hit that bell notification button, let you guys get notified when I post a new video, it'll really help me out a lot. So I like the brand Amiri a lot. I love what they do with their clothes, their attention to detail, the luxury aspect of it. Specifically, I love the scale tops that just came out. So what I wanted to do is try to turn Vans into these scale top skate shoes. I just put, I, <laughs> I just picked up these new skate highs. I've had the shoe once, it was a really great skate shoe, and now it's time to turn these in to scale tops. Let's get to it. Okay, so there's a few things we're gonna need for this project. The first being your shoe. So these are the skate high pros, as you can see, the little pro. <laughs> what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be removing this what would, what do you guys call this leave it in the comments below if you know what this is called it's not a swoosh because nike has their swoosh the next thing you're going to need is some duct tape masking tape whatever you want we're going to be taping off this area so then we could use a sharpie a pen to draw the bones on the tape you're going to need some scissors because once we cut out our patterns from this tape we're going to be using leather you could use a recycled leather, you could use a real leather. This is what we're gonna be using to make the bone on the shoe. Lastly, we have some rubber cement. This stuff helps just adhere the leather to the shoe better before we stitch it. There's one more thing you might need. You might need something called a cobbler machine. This machine actually sews into shoes. It could repair shoes. It could sew into a tire. I made my own mount for it. So we're gonna be using this machine to sew the bone onto the shoe. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be removing this swoosh. You can use a razor blade or a scissor. I'm just gonna make a slit right here. So once we remove the swoosh, now I just wanna remove the stitching. I feel like it'll look a lot better if it was just a clean slate. We just finished removing all the stitching off the side panel. As you can see, <laughs> we got everything off. Now we're going to take our tape. We're gonna tape off this whole panel and start drawing the bone here and we can figure out placement right now. So now we have everything all taped up. Now we're gonna try to draw the bone right here. I'm actually gonna pull up a reference of it while I'm drawing it. We're gonna try to put the bone here. We're gonna do it all with the Sharpie. Then we're gonna cut it out of the tape. We have all our little pieces. Now it's time to take our leather and trace these pieces onto the leather so we could cut them out. So here's a rough dotted representation of the patterns. I left a little bit of space, so we're gonna cut them a little bit lower and we should be all set. The cutting out of the bones coming out pretty good. I started on the second side as well. All right, so I'm just figuring out placement on the shoe. So I'm going to then take my cement, rubber cement, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to go outside, cement these pieces down into place, and then we are going to sew them and make sure they're really on there. I make sure I do this step outside because this stuff smells really bad. Make sure when you're gluing that you're leaving the edge not glued so you can make sure that your stitches aren't going through hard rubber cement when you're sewing them down. We have the Vans logo on one side, scale on the other. Once we're done gluing all of them down, we're gonna take it to the machine and we're gonna stitch along each part. All right, so I just threaded the cobbler machine with some white thread for the bones. We're gonna hop into this slowly but steadily making sure we do a really good job i took off the label on top just because i wanted to do something here i might toy around with it later we'll see but yeah let's get to stitching
So I just finished sewing both shoes. Now we're gonna lace them up and let's check out how they look. This is the Vans Skate High Skeletops. The collaboration maybe we will see in the future. I'll email some people. <laughs> I don't know, but I had an awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I really like the way they came out. Could the stitching have gone a lot better? Absolutely. Could I own a thousand million dollar factory? I... No, I actually can't. I actually can't right now. <laughs> so that's why we're settling for this. I think they came out really well. I tried to stay as true to the original design as I could. I just didn't put a toe right along here just because that's the ollie area. There's some type of practicality to my design so make sure we could still skate. I had an awesome time making these. I kept the Vans logo swoosh thing in the middle and I kept the skeleton top on the side just to show that these were a custom. I did take the logo off the tongue just cause I wanted a plainer look. Hey, yo. I think they came out really awesome. They're still padding around the tongue, so it's not gonna affect you around the collar. The collar of a shoe. Shoes have collars? Well, uh, guys. Hey, Google. Go actually. Do shoes have collars? On the website spotterup.com, they say, shoes have collars. The inside back portion of the shoe. What the f Let me know if there's any other luxury shoe or any other shoe design that you would like to see me do to some skate shoes. This is Austin Sierra signing out. And like I always tell you guys, make your dreams a reality. I'll talk to you later. Peace.